Thank you for being here with us today. My name is Ivan Liu, a Senior Application Specialist. It's my privilege and pleasure on behalf of Fuji Oil Asia welcome you here today. Our theme is Taste of the World from Home. So today we're making Nunabur chocolate tart. Nunabur cake is a Finland, is a traditional fin uh, Finnish gastronomic cake in the name of the famous uh, Finnish pole. So today make the Nunabur cake with the chocolate cream. Let's start today. So uh, in the Finland, in the Finland, we uh, uh, doing the, this kind of cake. It's a, the, this application is a featuring traditional Finnish cake uh, cross the chocolate cream tart. Cream to combine with the Nunabur cake dot dot. So we're using uh, also we using the CF custard to make the raspberry puree to give the fruity and creamy taste. Uh, go well with the chocolate taste and using 790 LTU and ground almond to make the rollerbird cake and sabe to give you good combination and give you great nutty taste and good texture let's start we do uh, today we do the we today in the this uh, application we have the six step so today i will do the sponge first so i will let me to introduce the, my ingredient so this one in the this sponge we will use a uh, 790 LTU, which is our margarine. Our margarine is uh, can do a lot of the, like you can do a cookie, cake, everything. So it's a multiply purpose for the this margarine. And also today we use uh, our S200. S200 is our compound cream. So you can do like the doing the mousse or uh, the like the, the kind of like the, a lot of variety the application you can use the uh, S200. So this time we use the sponge cake inside is a purpose you give it the moist for and the creamy taste in the this sponge so we let's start so we start so we uh, first thing i will put into the 790 ltu i will put inside and the sugar So we just mix it first until until the color is a pale and then it's a fluffy. So we, this one you just need to wait around about five minutes, like make it a pale and then you more puppy to when before you add the egg inside. On the same time, then you can you can just stop it out for a while. Then we just scrape it up on the side. We just continue. So on the same time, you can slowly to put the egg inside. You can one by one to put inside here. So again, one more. The last. So we can just stop for a while. Then we just scrape it up. Then make sure that everything is mixed together with the egg. So this one, for the just the let you information, this one is a combo. I using the digestive to biscuit, so you just blend it like the powder. This one, this one is to keep the good uh, digestive cookie that aroma when you cook in the cake. The cake. So one, you can see the egg is combined together. You need to low speed. Then you can slowly to put the flour. Mm. 
ramen. And the combo. So we are ready to the mold for this one. For later for, for baking. Once you can see everything combined, we can add the, our the H200 cream to put inside. Make sure the scrip it out. Then in the same time, you need to like, scrape it up to make sure everything is combined and uh, fully to the whip it up together. So this one you can see that this texture should be okay already. So, so we prepare the discount more. So this one is a 10 down 10. So it's a 10 down 10. It's around the 5 inch. So you can just do one. So we now we put it together and then for the baking. So you can see this one. We just press it up. Make sure when you're picking, it's uh, even. Yeah. Once you're even it is, then you just put it into the oven. We put in the 160, so around about 35 minutes, you can take out it. Yeah. We will move on to the next step. So uh, next step, we're doing the sabe. Sabe later is uh, from the from the later on, put the bottom one for the keep the uh, crispiness for the dough for this one. So today we have you. This is a B. We use the uh, seven nine chili LTU. It's a it's a compound compound margarine. So this one we use uh, this one for the our vivo product. And the rest, this one is icing sugar, uh, cake flour, almond, and the one egg. So the step is just very easy. So it's an all-in method. So you just put this one, the flour. I think sugar, ground So the seven I put inside. Everything combined together. So when you combine together the egg inside, so the dough is finished. So later on, we we'll just roll it up and then need to cut it up. So we just take about just, just say about this four or five minutes. So this one to combine everything is easy together. So before that, we need to roll this one. We prepare the the paper first. Put for you to the rolling. The rolling pin. So if you if you just this one, you need to use about uh, uh, about uh, uh, 1.5 cm thickness, so you can make be sure when you cut it up. So you can see the dough is coming out. So the egg I just put inside. So when the dough is combined together, so we just lift up to load it. So the dough is here.
once a dough here. So we use the the another the paper put on top. We just roll it up, make it flat, become like one point five. Make sure it's a flat, so I don't want it when you when you when the dough is flat. So when you after you baking, then the dough will more crispy. If not, then it will very hard when you eating. So after this one, we just need to press it, need to press it into the uh, freezer. So after that, we need to cut it out. So because of time, uh, the issue. So I already have the one of the dough already press it. So I show you how to cut it the dough for the uh, the 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 sabe. This one is from the freezer, you see, it's very hot. Okay, so we just from that. So for this one, we use the ring to cut up to put here. The dough easy for you to cut. If not, if you if you never put into the uh, chiller, it will be difficult to cut it up and then very troublesome when you are uh, working out. Yep, we finish. So we like that. After that, you just put in the, the oven one seven one seventy. So around fifteen minutes. So you become like big one brown. So be okay. Okay. So today, uh, so this one uh, come to the third step. So this third step, we cooking the raspberry compote. So uh, basically, I put in the pot inside, have the IQF, the raspberry, frozen raspberry, and the frozen the, the puree inside. So this one is a water. I also put inside first, and the sugar I also put inside. So this one we have the gelatin. So gelatin I just put inside water, the cold water. So before that, uh, uh, when you're doing the this one already soft, so you need to put inside. I just soak it up when doing this one. So we just start to cooking. Well, this one then you need to like uh, stirring to make sure the raspberry will be mashy inside. This one? Okay. So after this one, the gelatin I put inside, I need to put into the mold. Or this mold. Or this mold, after that I will just put the, the jelly here. So every jelly I put inside the pizza and then freeze it. So when later assemble me to take out for the for the pudding for the uh, this uh, lunar bird cake. So you need to stir it up, then make sure the com the raspberry is a mess, you see? Everything like the become like the pip inside so you can see the all the flavor is come out in the this uh combo. Then we stand by for this one. So when you see the this one boring, maybe maybe the meaning meaning is uh, we need to ready to put to the gelatin inside. So the gelatin already soft already, you see? Already soft. So make sure when you gelatin you need to squeeze out. All the squeeze the extra water to come out. So when you see the boiling, then you just put inside. Then you can open it up. So because the heat can ready for the for the gelatin to melt it up. So enough heat for this one. Yeah, the gelatin melted. So ready to put into the mold. So you put the 
here. So you can ready for this one. Yeah, make sure the thing is very full. Because later on, then we need to write it out. Then he will sing down a bit. So we can make sure it's a very full. Extra abyss will be okay. Yep, it's ready. So this one, you just put inside of the pizza, uh, minus 20. So after that, when you set it up, you need to take out. Okay, so this one is the fourth step. So today we just do about very simple uh, raspberry raspberry cut. Raspberry cut with this one, it's just uh, we're using the our Vivo brand, it's a CF custard, which is uh, this one. It's a, this one is a ready to use for the custard, and then he's uh, this one big stable. It's a, the the taste is really really nice, and then for the you can do a lot at the cream puff, and the, the kind of the, a lot of application for use this one. But the for the raspberry cut for this one. Is a uh, for the traditional yeast uh, the cut need to uh, use a lot of the, the the ingredient like the margarine then the the lamb, the, the juice the egg yolk everything that uh, you need a lot of step to use this one for for, for today we just two ingredient can become like the raspberry curd so very easy to use for the a lot of the application so today we just the raspberry curd here and then the raspberry puree. For the for the later on to, for the assemble to the the cake, so I just mix it up, mix together. I just stir it. You see, very easy to use. For later on, you need to pipe our, our, our the the assemble for the application. Yes, it's done. So I put into the bubbling bag. Put in bubbling bag. So later on, we need to do the assemble for this one. Yeah. So this one, we did, we, if we, later we will use this one. Yeah, we do the uh, number five step. So this one, today we use uh, our Vivo brand. It's a dark chocolate combo cream. So, and the uh, H200 for this one to do the chocolate cream mousse. So which is later we um, we need to blend it up, then we bite the on the side. So the chocolate uh, cream mousse, normally the kind of step you need to use uh like the you need to use egg yolk, gelatin, chocolate, cream to put together. After that you need to one night for the for the for the for, for the for the set. So the, this time we just do ingredient immediately you can do your cream mousse, the cream you can do just immediately for you for you doing this vacation. Yeah, so we just this two. So we just basically just H two hundred together with the uh, dark chocolate compound cream. Basically, you just stir it up, stir it up for a while first. Then we just blend it up. Make sure when you blend together, everything is combined together. You can see everything together. When you keep blending, the chocolate will be more thicker. Yep, it's very smooth, it's done. You see the texture? It's very smooth and shining. Yep. So this one later later on then we need to uh, bite together. So later on I will do the next step, the six, the last step for the chocolate coating. Okay. So uh, 
This one is the last step, the sixth step. So we just uh, it's a, like the the chocolate coating. We this time we use also using the our dark chocolate compound cream. So this one the texture, this one texture is like the sim like the similar like the chocolate garnish structure. So you can ready to use. You can just cube it up, then mix to some cream, then ready to use for coating and uh, with the uh, mousse, everything can ready to use. So the texture is really nice and then we cut a lot of steps for the very convenient for the all user for this one. So uh, we do the, the next step for this one. Just very simple. I just, this one, put into the microwave. I just melt it up. Then this one to mix together, later for coating for the on the side. Okay, so I just put inside to the microwave just about two minutes. Yeah, yeah we are come back. Then after that, this one's already Come like very watery, so very easy. I just put inside. I just stir it. So later, this one we need to like coat later. Yeah, she's ready to use. So now we are doing the, the assemble for the all the all the step. Yeah. Okay. So today, uh, now we do the assemble. So when you just now I do the sponge cake, you can see, I will, I will use the bottom one. So because of why I use bottom one, because bottom one is more flat when you do it upside down. So when you do something, you need to upside down the thing. So the uh, uh, Lubina cake, that one also is upside down to the, the put the raspberry and then the lawyer icing on the side. So this one we just stick on the traditional, the way to do the, this one, Lubina cake mixed with the uh, uh, chocolate cream. So we just start it up, then we just cut it up. We just cut about six. We just, this time we just do about six. Just like that. Make sure when you cut it up and then make sure it's a round one so you can do the size. Yep. So then this one. In the middle, we need to put the raspberry curd inside, so we need to cut it out. So for you, I like, uh, fill the raspberry inside, raspberry curd inside. So when you eat it, then he will like the uh, uh, liquid type. So when you make sure when you eat it, like the uh, it's a very like the jam inside when you eating the rubana cake. Okay, so this one we just put here. Our raspberry cut is here. So I just cut it out. I just put inside here. Okay. Then the balance, you just make sure it's a make it flat. Okay. This one we just put in with a brass pizza, uh, pizza. So make sure this one is the set. Because we need to frozen it up, we need to cover the side. Okay. For this one, already is a frozen. Already is a frozen. So you can see later on, then we can just coat it up for the, this coating. This one, just now we do that on the sixth step. So we need to like put into here. So we just do the coating. We make sure this one is a liquid and this one very frozen. We put it up. Make sure to cover the on the side. Balance. This one for the shooting, we put here. Remember this one? We just coating for the this one for the base. And we are the picking it with this size. We just put it up. Make sure this one. Balance. Balance. Make sure the thing is clean. No. Just turn. Here we take out. Okay, yeah, we're just going on but spot one. So this one like the become like the one of the shell to protect the raspberry curd. Now uh, become a shell because you did remember this one the below is a hollow. So when you like the become like the shell to protect the make sure the thing is a uh, won't come out for the for the bottom. After that, then this one in the middle. Remember, we just now we do the raspberry cut, raspberry compound. 
be sure this one is frozen. So when you put inside, to cover the holding this one for this one. We just, I just want to take out its like this. We just cover the thing. So cover the thing. So when you, from outside, you cannot see the inside. We actually have the one of the lemon curd in the middle. Okay. So the side, we assemble, remember that time we just have the red raspberry uh, chocolate cream, mold, so we bite inside. The texture is perfect, very smooth, and then easy to bite and very shiny. So make sure when you coating up, then all around here to cover the thing. Okay, we finish. All right, then next time is for for the decoration. For the decoration. So this one we just put the, the some of the flower here. Then this one chocolate leaf. Put some gold leaf on top. Okay, so today the Nobel chocolate dot is uh, finished. So hope you enjoy today the the demonstration. Thank you.